hi guys welcome back i hope all is well and everyone had a great week today i will be sharing with you my creative haven book collection now i have probably about eight to ten books that were recently given to me and i've recently hauled that's not going to be in this video because I have not done my haul video yet. So you will see those probably at the end of the weekend in my haul video. So look out for my haul video coming probably um, Sunday or Monday. Not sure yet. But guys, we're going to start off with my favorite, my favorite Creative Haven book. This is Rose Windows. This is my favorite book. I love this book. It is awesome. I have a second copy. Um, everything about this book is just beautiful. I love it. I am working on completing this book, which I should have finished this book, but I have not. But I love this book and it is my favorite. This is Rose Windows and I hope this illustrator come out with a part two to this book. I hope because this is my favorite book. And I would love to have a, another book like this. Even though, yes, I have another copy. <laughs> My second Creative Haven book is Designer Dessert. I love this book. Um, I recently com completed a page in this book um, for a color along um, in a Facebook group that I'm in. I'm not going to show you because you will see that finished page with my finished pages at the end of the month. We're going to look at some Christmas books. This is Christmas Florals. This is a really cool book. It is the line art is very thin in this book, which is really not my thing. I have never colored in this book, but it is a part of my collection. Christmas Florals. My next book is another book that I have not colored in. This is Entangled Christmas, which is a super cool book, I think. Kind of Zen doodly like, but this is Entangled Christmas. And there are several Christmas, Christmas books by Creative Haven that I need to collect before Christmas. This is Christmas Whimsy. Really cool book. Christmas Whimsy. My next book is I Love Mandalas. Love, love Mandalas. So I definitely had to have this book. This is Christmas Mandalas. Really, really cool book. Glad to have this one in my collection. My next book is Christmas Ornaments. I think I started a page in here and it didn't come out so great. So I stopped. Christmas Ornaments. My next book is also another one of my favorites, Ugly Holiday Sweaters. I highly recommend this book. Christmas is a few months away. Guys, this is a must have for Christmas when coloring. It's fun. Um, really nice. I love this book and I can show you the plate, the page that I completed because this was done in 2020. So this was for Christmas last year. Let me bring you up a little bit for Christmas last year. Um, I used, um, I know this is Windsor and Newton iridescent medium along with um, the folk art glitter paint, the clear, I put a gray background and then I went over it with the, um, with the folk art paint. And then I put a layer of iridescent medium over it to really give it that sparkle and shine. If you see, he has a lot of sparkle. He's a shiny, shiny snowman. 
Um, the sweater itself, um, I used Ohuhu markers. Um, actually, they failed me. And Copic had to come to the rescue. So you can actually see um, one side of my sweater is actually lighter than the other. But Copic had to come and save the day. So if anybody ever had to question what's the best markers to buy, it is absolutely Copic because Copic have saved the day for me so many times when I'm trying to use Ohuhu or Cali Art or something else. Love it, but I love it. It was a fun page. This was a buddy color with um, quite a few people in my group. This is Ugly Holiday Sweaters. Highly recommend that book. This is Christmas Charm. Um, I did complete a page in this book. This was completed with um, Big Intensity and some silver gel pen and white jelly roll. Christmas charm, my next Christmas book and my last Christmas book um, is fa la 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 la. <laughs> I bought this book for a color along um, in for Donna um, at Coloritaville did, um, she colored this entire book last Christmas. Um, and I, um, and we did a um, color along with this page. I used the Glitterific glitter glue. I mean, glitter paint, you see the back is, the background is super shiny and then it has the glitter. Um, I used, uh, I want to say Cali art markers and the, the silver bells, um, is glossy accents. So they're really smooth, but I'm pretty happy how the, t the page turned out. That glitterific glue is great for backgrounds guys. Really fun. I think I did another one in there. Maybe I don't want to show it. Maybe it's horrible. Let's see. It's not one of my best, but this is for another color along for Donna's um, for that month, but it's okay. The silver, the bells, the gold and the silver is the Windsor and Newton um, silver and gold ink that I always talk about. Love it. And stickles and glossy accents and um, chalk pastels or pen pastels for the background. A lot going on there. <laughs> my next book, of course, you guys know all my books. A lot of them have stickies on the outside of them. This is Woodcut Designs. This is a book that I have been wanting to color in. It is beautiful. Um, so hopefully soon I will get a chance to color in this book. And this page to me screams neon colors. I want to do this page in neon colors. But it's a beautiful book. Love this book. My next book is a color by number, which I love creative haven color by number. This is glorious gardens. I did create a uh, create. I did complete a page in this book, which is this page. I'm really happy on how it came out. It was fun. It took a few days cause it's very detailed, but this was very fun. Creative haven have really nice color by number books. My next book is Country Gardens. Really like this book. I don't think I completed anything in here. Nope. And this is by Teresa Goodridge. Next book is Hearts. I purchased for Valentine's Day. Never colored in it, but this book is really cool. Black background. Lots of detail, but a nice book. I love hearts, so, you know, I had to have it in my collection. This is Hearts Black Background. 
my next book is also, I would say is one of my favorite, even though I haven't colored in it. Um, but this is Circular Cities. And this book is really cool. Circular Cities. This is Spring Sings, never completed a page, um, but it's a beautiful book, of course. Nice book. Spring Sings. This is a very thick book. I have a flip through on my channel of this book. This is a very thick Creative Haven book. It have a little bit of everything in this book. This is a really cool book. This is Magical Dreams and it is super thick. Next book is one of my new books that I've had maybe about a month or two. This is Fanciful Nature Designs. Um, I wasn't too happy with the book at first, but because um, the front is like all wallpaper. But once you get to the back, it's a lot of succulents and different things. The book is nice. Don't judge the book by the first 15 to 20 pages. The end of the book is where the magic happened. This is a very nice book. This is Fanciful Nature Designs. This is also another super thick book. All right, guys. This is Autumn Scenes, one of my favorites. This is a book you need to have for the upcoming autumn season. Highly recommend it. And there's also a new book coming out in the autumn by Teresa Goodridge. Check it out, guys. Pre-order your book. This is Autumn Scenes. Beautiful book. This is by the lovely Teresa Goodridge. This was recently gifted to me. This is Whimsical Gardens. Thank you, Emily, for the book. Um, it has been on my wish list for over a year, and she gifted me this book dur during our gift swap, and I appreciate it. This is Whimsical Gardens. Next book is Wish You Were Here. Um, this is a really cool book. Wish You Were Here, Teresa Goodridge. There is a, a flip through on my channel. I have a lot of flip throughs on my channel of a lot of these books. This is Butterflies Color by Number. I have never colored in this book, but I need to. Really cool book. Butterflies Color by Number. Let me move the books over because it's a lot of them. This is Dream Horses. Um, it kind of intimidates me a little bit, not going to lie, but the book is absolutely stunning. Dream Horses. I really want to color in that book, but I'm just intimidated. This is The Beautiful Language of Flowers. Um, for some reason, I had this in my... Um, flip through pile to do a flip through on my channel, but I never did. So maybe I should, I don't know. And if you guys want to see a flip through of any book that I did not have up on my channel, just let me know. Now, well, don't mind doing a flip through for you. This is The Beautiful Language of Flowers by John Green. My next book is Home Sweet Home. Cool book, of course, it's by the awesome Teresa Goodridge. You guys know her books are just everything. Love this book, Home Sweet Home. Next book is a book I wanted for a while and I never purchased it. You know, you have those books that just sit in your cart forever. Well, this is one of them. This is Steampunk Devices. And I can't wait to color in this book. And use lots of silver and gold um, 
ink, the Winsor & Newton ink. I'm going to use a lot of it. This is going to be so cool. Steampunk Devices. Next book is another Midnight Edition book. This is Midnight Garden. Super cool book. Every page have that beautiful black background. Just beautiful. Midnight Garden. Let There Be Love. And I purchased this for um, Valentine's Day. And on my channel, uh, if you go, you have to go way down. But um, I did um, not a flip through, but I showed you all of my Valentine's books. So go and check that video out. It's an old video, but it's really cool. The line art is very thin, which is not my thing, but I love the book. It's hearts. Hearts everything. Let there be love. We only have about 20 more books to go. <laughs> Beautiful Nature Designs. Um, this is by Ruth Sofer. Um, really nice book. Beautiful Nature Designs. This is Country Farm Scenes. Never Colored in it by Teresa Goodridge, which I need to. Um, love it. This is Romantic Country Scenes. Another beautiful book by the awesome Teresa Goodridge. Beautiful romantic country scenes. Love, love, love this one. One of my favorites, Main Street by Teresa Goodridge. I love everything by Teresa Goodridge, guys. And this book is Storefronts. Really cool. Main Street. Year in flowers every month is a different flower, really, really cool. The line art is thin, so you know it's not my thing, but this is a beautiful book and I like it. Year in flowers. This is a new book that I've recently purchased, maybe about a month or so ago. This is Art Nouveau Animal Designs, which is a really cool book. Cool, cool. Art Nouveau Animal Designs. This was on sale for maybe two bucks. Next book is Celebrations. Real cool. Different, uh, celebrating different things like new baby. This is just champagne. <laughs> uh, butterflies. Celebrate. Special day. And on and on and on. That's birthday. That's a really cool one. This is Celebrations. This is a cool book. All right. And we keep going on. This is Spectacular Spring Scenes by George Tefexis. This is a color by number. Really cool book. Love it. Again, anything by George Tefexis. I love it. He has the best color by number books. This is Spectacular Spring Scenes. Next book is Butterflies, um, Flights of Fancy. I bought this at Walmart. Um, just beautiful butterfly images. This is another book I recommend. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Butterflies, Flights of Fancy. Fanciful Foxes. This was a gift from Sharonda. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cute book. Cute, cute. Fanciful Foxes. Truly Tropical. Another book, a gift from Sharonda. Nice book. Truly Tropical. 
All right, this next book was also a gift from Sharonda. This is Alice in Wonderland. This is one that was on my wish list for a long time. And she gave me this book. Beautiful. Cool, cool, cool. Alice in Wonderland Designs. We have about 10 more books, guys. This is Sea Life. This is another book from Sharonda. Everything Sea Life. I love the border. Really cool. Sea Life Designs. This is another book from Sharonda. Thank you, thank you. This is Winterscapes. Everything Winter. Really nice. Winterscapes. Another winter book. I think this is also a gift from Sharonda. Winter Wonderland. Nice book. Winter Wonderland. I need to have those with the Christmas books. Nutcracker. I think this is the last gift from Sharonda. This is the Nutcracker. Really, really cool. The Nutcracker. All right, one of my favorites, Christmas Color by Number, which is an awesome book. Highly recommend this for Christmas. Just beautiful. Lots of detail, but it's color by number, so it takes the pressure of you, take the pressure off of you trying to pick out colors. This is Christmas Color by Number by the awesome George Tefexis. This is Happy Birthday. Um, I bought this book for my birthday to color in the month of my birthday, and I did not, of course. Um, really cool book. Just a cool book. I love this book. This is Happy Birthday. This is Succulents. Stunning Succulents. Really cool. I want a succulent garden so bad. Stunning succulents. All right. This is Celtic Animal Designs. Um, this is a new book that I purchased maybe a month or two ago. Um, never colored in it yet, but I plan to. This is Celtic Animal Designs. All right, this is um, Norman Rockwell's American Life. Um, when I received this book, it looked like it had been through hell. Um, <laughs> so I called Amazon, they replaced it. And the second book looked like it had been through hell and back as well. But I, anyway, I didn't call them the, the second, a second time. I just kept the book because the images were not... Um, messed up in any kind of way so they were okay so I kept the book this is Norman Rockwell Rockwell's American Life this is Blissful Nature it's just like to me this is like all wallpaper not my thing but it was on clearance at Hobby Lobby for like a dollar or dollar 25 or something like that so I bought it Blissful Nature This is Desert Blooms. Um, had a couple of months, never colored in it. Pretty nice because if you go to the corner of the book, it tells you uh, what the plan is, which is very cool. So you can look it up and see how you should color it. This is Desert Blooms. Really cool book. And... This is By the Sea, color by number. Really cool. George Tefexis. And last but not least, this is By the Seashore, color by number. Two different books. And this is also by George Tefexis. Really cool. This is beachy, beachy, beachy like. I love it. All right, guys, that is my um, 
Creative Haven book collection, minus eight to 10 books that um, you will see in my haul video, the end of the weekend or early next week. If you have a question about any book, feel free to drop a comment. I'm not gonna link these books below because it's too many. Um, but if you have a question about a book um, or if you want a link to a book, drop a comment and I will send you that link to that book. That'll be the easy way. So just drop me a comment. Say you want the link to um, celebrations and I'll send it to you. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome weekend. And until next time, stay safe.